I'm sitting in the creek bed of this lake that you can just barely see in front of me here and I was snowshoeing down into the bed of it as you can see my tracks here and I came upon this cavity right here which looks to have some good ice crystals in it so I'm going to open it up a little bit more and see what I can find. I did manage to open up the cavity and it is looks like it's rather extensive and probably extends a lot further that way. I can't exactly tell how big it is but I'm around the edge of a creek. This looks like early ice that formed on the side of the creek and held on and then the bottom is where it broke and uh, fell down. So I'll take a second here and then zoom in closer on some of the crystals underneath before I start taking pictures. A few of the ice crystals underneath delicate structures that form and just how amazing some of these crystals are that I have a hard time photographing. As you can see this cavity extends a long ways that way and then it also appears to keep going way under the snow that way. I found another cavity here on the creek. You can't tell from this but this is actually right where there's a beaver dam and the water on the side that I'm of the beaver dam has collapsed significantly. Um, this crack is a couple feet deep and the ice is probably about eight inches thick. And this is right at the edge of the lake. This is the outflow from the lake. And it's a beautiful day out here on the lake today. The sky is blue. The sun is just reaching over the hills, hitting the south side of the far hill in front of me. And it's just a beautiful day to be out here in the woods today. This is my surroundings. And it's a wonderful day in the woods. I made it out to the lake, and it appears that a snow machiner made it out here over the last couple days. There's tracks all over. I wonder if they actually followed my snowshoe tracks out here, but uh, it's actually unusual. Normally only a snow machiner makes it out about once or twice a winter. Um, it's a beautiful location as you can see. This lake is pretty shallow. Generally it sinks and empties almost completely out during the winter time as the inflow of water uh, pretty much dries up. Um, I don't think any of the lake is more than about 10 or 15 feet deep and uh, there probably is some water left on the west end back over this direction. What you can't see and what is pretty much underneath this bank over here is there is a beaver lodge and the beaver lodge is responsible for I think keeping this lake at the level it is. The beavers dam the outflow where I was actually finding crystals today. So this is the beautiful lake I'm at today. Uh, it doesn't look much like a lake, just an open area, but it is a wonderful place to come out during the summertime. There's tons of birds that come out here and tend to stay all winter, or sorry, all summer. Um, last summer there were some swans that uh, nested out here, and I got to see their babies. Lots of geese and ducks and other shorebirds. I'm out on the middle of the lake. What you can't see, which is right in front of me here, is actually a boggy island during the summertime where a lot of the waterfowl will nest. Um, this hill to my southwest actually blocks the sun, so there's not a lot of sunlight out here during the winter time. But I'm just going to pan around and you can kind of see the whole whole lake. The Beaver Lodge is on this little hill over here. They've kind of cut all the trees down off the tip. And then on this side of the lake has a lot of grassy wetlands where the birds like to feed. And during the summertime, the trees over here is where I actually walk out to the lake through the woods. And then the creek that supplies this whole lake comes in over here on the east side. And that is the lake. It's a beautiful place to come out during the summertime, although the bugs are kind of bad. I've brought a boat out before and boated around a little pack raft. It's a fun place to explore. So this is one of the cavities I opened up a couple days ago. As you can see, 
the snow machine who came out yesterday must have been curious about what I was doing followed my tracks over here but one of the cool things is sometimes if you open these and there's still moist air able to escape out you can get new crystals forming along the edges as moist air escapes cools down and condenses out so the crystals that you're seeing right here on the edge especially right here we're not here the other day these are new crystals that have grown over the last couple days and I don't know if you can tell on the edge of the snow here there's crystals in a form too this is from where I opened up the cavity so this is kind of the cool part is once you find a place if there's moist air still reaching the opening you get new crystals forming all winter long I suspect that this is right on the edge of the island in the middle of the lake and that somewhere down this crack that I can't see there's still access to water deep underneath this lake that is supplying the moist air forming these crystals on my way back to the truck following my trail from a couple of days ago across the lake it's colder than it was the other day. I guess it's probably around 10 below, maybe a little bit more. But it's after 1 o'clock, sun sets about 3 o'clock, and I've probably got about an hour to get back to the truck, so I don't want to get back too late. Today is the last day of 2022, and I do have some plans tonight to go check out the fireworks up at UAF and spend time with my family. So from the middle of Alaska, I'm going to say Happy New Year and have a good evening. Bye.